having me on. So this new law, which the King signed just last week, is a major step forward for enabling a safer life online in the UK for all people, but as you say, particularly for children. And as Ofcom, the regulator, we've come straight out the blocks today with the first phase of that uh, law, and that's around illegal harm. So the most serious content online, the, uh, dangerous content online. And it's time for tech firms to step up. Um, the law places a duty of care that they now have a responsibility for their users, particularly children, to keep them safer. And we will be working with them really closely so that they understand their legal obligations and what they might need to do to comply. And that work starts today. I just want to contextualize what we've got here now on, on a global sphere. We've got the Digital Services Act in Europe. Yep. In the United States, there are reforms by US lawmakers to tackle Section 230. I think typically there's a view in the marketplace that the Europeans are super serious and laser focused on protections and, and usually the toughest regulators in the mix. And then there's the UK uh, followed by the, the United States. Is that how we think about it? These are tough changes, but not as tough as the Europeans. Uh, so I think the, the Digital Services Act in Europe and the Online Safety Act in the UK, they're kind of regulatory cousins, if you like. They're not identical twins, um, but they share a few things in common. So they place a duty of care on the tech firms and they focus on getting to the root cause of harm. So this isn't content takedown uh, legislation. We're not going to be looking at individual pieces of content. We're making uh, changes. We're helping uh, make systems safer by design uh, and for example some of the measures we've put out today are around preventing uh, the spread of child sexual abuse material across the web uh, but also limiting grooming uh, so that children can be less uh, more easily befriended by strangers and by adults posing as children so some of these really practical steps uh, that tech firms can take to keep children safer online. Uh, Jill, obviously, as, as parents of daughters, the two of us, um, mm. totally applaud anything, especially in those categories you just mentioned, uh, as a start. But I've, I've got to be honest, up till now, it's been about self-help. I mean, my wife and I, we, we have apps which we've purchased, which try and protect our daughters, which we try and um, monitor what they're doing and bar uh, illicit sites or anything that we just think is, is quite worrying but the, isn't the root problem here the fact that there is zero real life moderation of the content you said yourself there we're not going to be looking about the content we get individual piece of content we're looking at the design isn't the problem in fact that moderation is so limp and, and quite pathetic quite frankly from the um, the ISPs themselves or the the content providers so I'm a parent myself and I think, you know, there is really good news for parents today in that uh, a lot of the burden has fallen to parents and to children themselves who kind of feel that they're, they're in trouble when they mm. see harmful things online. And this is actually about m making sure that tech firms step up to their responsibility. In terms of content moderation, we're making recommendations on that. Uh, some firms apply automatic content moderation. We'd like that to be applied much more widely. Uh, and we want to make sure that the teams who are working on content moderation are adequately resourced and adequately trained. Uh, and we think there's much more that the firms can do to apply those best practices uh, across the board. Where's the punishment? There are enforcement powers. I mean, obviously, success isn't about fines per se, because we want a safer internet I think success is online. about fines per se. I think, as we've seen with, dare I say, Margaret Vestager or what have you in the European Commission, if you want to find someone, go heavy, go aggressive, and then suddenly people change their practices. So there is the stick. The sticks are there. Uh, the sticks are around ability to fine up to 10% of global turnover. There's senior manager liability, uh, so the ability to prosecute senior managers. And we also have powers to disrupt services. Uh, so we can disrupt their payment providers or the services themselves so that they can't be seen in the UK. But what we want to do is work really closely with the tech firms so they actually comply uh, because that leads to safer experiences for our children. Are you